You're watching KCCI, Channel 8, Des Moines. Iowa's news leader. This is News Channel 8. The celebration is underway this St. Patrick's Day as people are wearing green, eating green eggs, and drinking green beverages. Good morning, everyone. I'm Molly Cooney. Thanks for joining us. We're on early today because of coverage of the NCAA tournament. Once again, don't worry, you're not missing any of your favorite soaps. They will resume as normal next Monday. Well, there are parties and events going on all over the city today. One of the most popular is the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's where we find News Channel 8's Michelle O'Parker. <laughs> and uh, Michelle, when do the festivities begin downtown? Well, the parade starts at noon. We're here at First and Court, and you can see people have gathered here already. This is a group from Melrose, and they are participating in the parade today. This is obviously something that people look forward to. It's a big thing for St. Patrick's Day. It's held every year. You can see this is one of the things that's going to be participating. They have actually 82 entries in this parade this year. Now let's take a look at a map right now. We'll tell you where the parade is going. It's going from First and Court here, north to Walnut, then west to Fifth Street, north to Locust, and then east to MB, MB, the Embassy Suites, excuse me. So a lot of people will be, be down here looking at the parade. It's something people look forward to. Now there have been a lot of activities taking place. Let's take a look at some video that we shot earlier today at Hamilton's Lounge. There was a Irish flag raising. You can see people cheering there for that. Hamilton's also was selling uh, green eggs and ham and uh, people were just having a good time. The celebration started early. So a lot of things going on today in Des Moines for St. Patrick's Day. It's not raining and it's not snowing out, Michelle. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, well, have a good time for us. Well, St. Patrick's Day, not the only excitement here in central Iowa. As you can imagine, this Friday, the Drake and Iowa State women both getting ready for their first round games in the NCAA basketball tournament. Bulldogs take on Clemson at 5 o'clock this afternoon in Stores, Connecticut. Meantime, the Cyclones take on St. Francis of Pennsylvania tonight about 8.30 at Hilton Coliseum in Ames. News Channel 8's Roshini Rajkumar joins us now live from the Ames live link Ames uh, and Roshini how are things going up there well Molly you cannot miss the Cardinal and gold around town today fans are just getting pumped for tonight's big game they're just uh, bills inside of you you get excited and now this and this is the uh, top Wayne Strum is one of Iowa State University's ticket sellers and he says tickets are going like hotcakes People are coming in to get their chance to watch the women's cyclones vie for tournament glory tonight. There are a few hundred tickets left, so you can still catch them. And fans know it's the ultimate time to cheer for the women who've given them a wonderful season of hoops. I think they're really awesome, and I think we've got a good team coming up for next year. Now, tonight's game is not on TV, so you can either call the ticket office or go in and get your tickets. Sunday's game, now I'm presuming they're going to win tonight, is on ESPN, and tickets for that are also going fast, Molly. Oh, I don't think we have to uh, <laughs> assume. I think that'll be a good chance. All right, exactly. thanks a lot, Roshini. While the Iowa State women prepare for tonight's first round game in the NCAA tournament, the Cyclone men getting ready for their second round game. Iowa State takes on Auburn tomorrow afternoon at 4.30, and you can see that game exclusively here on Channel 8. News Channel 8's Heidi Soliday is in Minneapolis, where tomorrow's game takes place, and she joins us live via News Star 8 with a preview from there. Heidi? Hi, Molly. I wanted to be Heidi O. Soliday. <laughs> anyway, there's a... Okay. There's a All right. Okay. There's a St. Patrick's Day parade here in Minneapolis as well at noon downtown. But here at the Metrodome, the parade is just going to be the teams and coaches as they handle their practices and press conferences. Iowa State practices at about 3 o'clock. Before that, starting about 1.30, Coach Larry Eustachie and his players will talk to the press. And they'll be talking about Auburn. And most likely, the questions will focus on the fact that Chris Porter, the preseason pick as player of the year, is not with the Tigers. He was uh, denied eligibility after the NCAA found out that he had spoken to an agent middleman. And uh, so the Tigers are going at it without Chris Porter, and that's what Stevie Johnson talked about yesterday after their win. I mean, people have been saying, okay, they're not the same team without Chris, but we wouldn't be the same team without um, Jamal and Mike. We had guys go down, but that's when other players step up. So we don't look at them without Chris. We look at them as Auburn being a good team. They've been on magazines all year. And they're going to be a very tough opponent, so we just got to focus and get ready to play. I'm sure we, are, we already know how we're going to play them. You know, all I know is Chris Porter is not playing with them, but you know they're still a good team. All the games from here on out are, are going to be pretty close uh, because 
teams have talent and you know they're willing to step up and, and do whatever it takes because they know it can be one and done. Now Auburn petitioned the NCAA to reinstate Porter but that was denied exactly one week ago and we will have more on the Iowa State here in Minneapolis coming up live at 6. All right, interesting developments. Thank you very much, Heidi O'Soliday. And Mike Olazana will be back with our weather forecast right after this. In the interest of St. Patrick's Day, yes, I do have something green. My pencil is always there. Here's a look outside. Kind of windy out there, but not a bad time going on right now. Let's get right down to the maps, find out what's going on. 33, mostly sunny, winds southeast at 10. Wind chill, 19 degrees. The dew point, very dry, 9 degrees. Relative humidity, 36%. The barometer holding steady, 30.42 inches of mercury. Here's a look at what's going on. 30 degrees at Algona, also at Fort Dodge. 30 degrees also down to Lamoni, 32 in the Quad Cities. 29 way over in Sioux City. Going in for a closer look, here's the way things are shaping up now. 30 degrees at Ames, 32 over in Clarion, 28 at Marshalltown, 36 at Creston, down in Sheridan, 36 degrees, 36 also at Knoxville. The wind chill, that's what the big thing is, but it's not that bad. 9 degrees is what it feels like at Storm Lake, feels like 24 at Knoxville, 19 at Sheridan, 9 degrees also at Newton. Here's a look at the satellite, all kinds of problems down in here. Texas and Oklahoma, heavy thunderstorm activity for us, generally blue skies. Here comes trouble, a chance of snow coming in later on this evening. Here's a look at the maps. Watch this thing. Here comes the front as it moves towards this way. We're going to get that patch of snow coming in. Should be light snow. Shouldn't really be much of anything at all, so don't get too concerned about it, at least not yet. Happy St. Patrick's Day, 47 for the high, mostly sunny skies. Winds southeast. And then tonight, 30 degrees, increasing clouds, scattered light snow. Winds out of the south, southeast, 5 to 10. Tomorrow, 43 for the high, light snow, rain early, partly sunny otherwise. The extended forecast looks like this. Not bad. Be of good cheer. It warms right back up. We've got a little bit of moisture in the forecast, but not all that bad. Also, I didn't brush my teeth, so that's the other green. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. Well, <laughs> go Bulldogs and go Cyclones. Have a safe St. Patrick's Day. See you on Monday.